Hi everyone, let's start trigonometry applications. On our vocabulary, the angle of elevation is the angle formed from a horizontal line of sight up toward an object. Draw for a picture a horizontal line, and then you're going to draw an object above that line, and draw an arrow going up. This is the angle of elevation because it's from the horizon going up. Likewise, an angle of depression is the angle formed from a horizontal line of sight down to an object. So here we're going to draw that horizon, but let's look at our object below the horizon, draw an arrow down. That is our angle of depression. Um, if you just wanted you to note that the angle of elevation and the angle of depression are congruent to each other because they are alternate interior angles. The horizons are parallel, so you have alternate interior angles. One more thing to add to your note sheet. Put this note. Angle of elevation will always equal the angle of depression. Now let's go apply it. Here's an example of application. Let's say you and a friend were on a beach and you were wondering how far away that island is from the beach. And we always measure by perpendicular distances. You can always measure how far you and your friend are apart. You can use instruments to find the angle that you're looking from the horizon um, and then use trigonometry for that kind of thing. So measuring things that are unmeasurable, for example. Uh, maybe you're on the top of the building and you're seeing a site, uh, something in your line of sight on the ground. You can also use trigonometry if you can measure at least one of the measurements. Probably from here, you know how far the building is from, from that particular object. So now this is how we're going to apply trigonometry to finding distances using angles and one side of uh, triangles. Example one, here look at our steps. Here are the keys I want you to keep in mind. As you're reading these word problems, underline your keywords. Sketch a picture, identify what you need to find, and then solve the trig function. So let's read the problem. Example one, the angle of depression from the top of a flagpole to a point on the ground is 35 degrees. If the point on the ground is 82 feet from the base of the flagpole, how tall is the flagpole? Well, I'm going to start with number two, actually. I know it's going to be a right triangle, so I'm going to start there. And then underline the key words. The angle of depression is 35 degrees. The angle of depression is going to be in the outside of that triangle. So I am going to draw that 35 degrees down from the top, draw a horizon, and then draw down. There's your angle of depression in that triangle. Angle of depression, again, I'll say it's outside of your right triangle. Um, now, the 82 feet is from the base of the flagpole to where that point you're looking at. And so that's why the 82 goes here. And you're asked in the yellow here, how tall is the flagpole? That's my vertical side length. Let's um, put in that angle of elevation inside the triangle. Those are congruent. So there I have my triangle labeled. Let's label opposite and adjacent. Those are the two sides. So which trig function am I going to use? I hope you're all saying tangent. Tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent, so I'm going to rewrite the equation to tangent of 35 degrees equals x over 82. Um, set up a proportion. Do your cross product. So x will equal 82 times tangent of 35. Get your calculator out. What do you get? I hope you got the same thing I did, 57.42 feet. Let's move on to example two. Your friend is standing looking up at a flagpole 32 feet in the air. Their angle of elevation up to the flag is 65. You are standing some distance behind your friend looking up at the same flag with the elevation uh, angle of elevation of 41 degrees. How far are you standing from your friend? So let's start with underlining in a picture. Um, I've got this picture here as a right triangle with two people standing in back of each other. So the little red dots are you and your friend. The, we know the flag is 32 feet tall, so that's going to be that vertical segment. 
um, put mark your where your right angle is, the flagpole against the ground, and your friend and you are here. So you have a question here. It says, how far are you standing up? But let's put in, we know the 65 degrees is the angle of elevation from your friend is looking up. And then the 41 is for you looking up at the same point on the flagpole. The question asks, how far are you from your friend? So this little portion here is what we have. So we got to problem solve this. We're going to use trigonometry twice. So we're going to do another little triangle and then the bigger triangle. And then we're going to do some subtraction. So let's find the lengths, two different lengths, and put it together. Um, because this little triangle here is not a right triangle, so we're going to look at the two right triangles and solve them. So the first one is this blue one. Let's find trigonometry on that and find this horizontal distance. And then we're going to look at the bigger right triangle here in the red and find the long distance, and then we'll be able to subtract the two. So let's start with the problem again. So let's start with what we know, um, the blue triangle first. So, and then we'll do the second triangle next. So the blue triangle. Let's set up, we've got an angle of elevation 65. I want to find that horizontal di distance. I know the flagpole is 32 feet. So I'm labeling the sides y and 32 feet are my adjacent and opposite. I'm going to use tangent. Tangent of 65 degrees is 32 over y. So make your cross products. Um, I'm going to make it a ratio equaling another ratio. That's a proportion. So I know that it's true if I multiply y times 65 is equal to 32 times 1. And here I need to divide both sides. So 32 divided by tangent of 65 is going to be 14.9 feet. Great. So now I know my friend is standing 14.9 feet away from the flagpole. Next, let's do the red triangle. So if I do the red triangle, um, I'm going to do the same type of setup, but this time my angle of elevation changed to 41 to where I'm standing. But the height of the flagpole is still 32. I'm going to call this distance from me to the flagpole Z. So I'm going to solve, set up a proportion. I have z times the tangent of 41 is equal to 32. Divide both sides of the equation by tangent of 41. And get out your calculators, make sure that I've done my math right, but I have z is 36.8 feet. We're not done though. We are asked to find this distance x. So what do I do with these two distances? I need to subtract them. So I'm taking that 14.9, which is my friend's distance from the pole. My distance is 36.8. Find the difference between the two, and I get 21.9 feet. So that would be the height, or sorry, the distance between me and my friend. Okay, last one. You uh, bought a 20-foot foot ladders, sorry, 25 foot ladder and leaned it against the wall. According to the safety regulations, the safest position for the ladder is when it makes a 72 degree angle with the ground. So how high up a wall will the ladder reach when it is put in the safest position? So I'm going to sketch my right triangle again and let's highlight some words that we need. 25 foot ladder leaning against the wall. That's going to be my hypotenuse. So let's label my hypotenuse the 25. I'm also seeing an angle of 72 degrees with the ground. That's going to be my angle of elevation. So I'm going to put that in the bottom right corner because it's the angle going up towards uh, from the ladder and the ground. How high up on the wall will this reach? So there is my unknown. I want to know the vertical height. So let's label our sides. I've got the hypotenuse is 25 and x is my opposite. So which trig function am I going to use? I hope you said sine. Let's set up the sine. Sine of 72 degrees is going to be opposite is x over 25. Make a proportion. Let's solve it. So I end up with 25 times the sine of 72. Tell me what you got. I hope you got 23.78 feet which is approximately 24 feet is what, she, what would be a safe distance according to the um, OSHA's guide, guiding 
uh, rules. So thank you very much for your time and good luck. Have fun.